Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be terraforming and decorating the areas for Nook's Cranny and Henry's house. First, I'm going to make a road here going horizontally, which goes over a river and leads right into resident services. Um, Nook's Cranny will be on the other side of the road here, and Henry's house will be beside resident services. I'm going to be using the same road designs as in my last video, and you can find the creator code for that down in the Google Docs link in the description. So, it's been a while since I last uploaded a build video. I think it's been about a month, maybe more? <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. April was a very busy month for me. On top of doing busy things, I went on a little vacation with my boyfriend. We went to Vancouver Island. It was my first time being on the island. It was really cool. If you want to see pictures from my trip, go check out my Instagram. Hopefully I will have them posted. <laughs> it's been three weeks and I still haven't posted them yet. Classic Casey move. I did not know how badly I needed a vacation until I took one. <laughs> For the past two years, you know why, <laughs> I haven't like been able to go on a very long trip or like travel very far from home for more than a few hours. Um, so it was really nice to like go away for a week and like um, not have to worry about my responsibilities. <laughs> just to like take a break from everything. It was very much needed. It was, I, I feel refreshed and motivated to work on things again. I am a little bit behind on my videos, but that just means I have content prepared in advance still. <laughs> I've got three more videos to edit and I am currently recording a fourth one. So hopefully I'll be able to put out one video per week for the next three or four weeks. Fingers crossed. I'm actually hoping to get this island finished within the next few months. I'm gonna be real with you, I miss doing city core. Don't get me wrong, I do like the theme that I'm working on right now, but I just find that I'm not having the same, like, constant creativity and inspiration that I had with city core. I don't know. I am gonna stick this out though, I'm gonna finish this island, I have to. <laughs> but yeah, next island will definitely be city core. Okay, so I'm working on the road still. Um, you saw me make the road and add some little details and place the bridge. And also I made a little spot for Henry's house, that like little square dirt that I moved around and then got rid of. That's where Henry's house is gonna go. And I'm also gonna be extending the river that runs beside Henry's house. I'm also gonna be getting rid of the river that's behind the road here because that's where Nooks is gonna go. Isabel told me that I have a villager in my campsite, and guess who it was? Antonio. I think this is Antonio. I'm pretty sure it is. Fun fact, I had Antonio on my very first island, and I was wearing the cutest dress. I was wearing this sailor dress, sailor bow dress, and Antonio had the audacity to tell me that I looked freaking ugly. <laughs> he told me that he didn't like my dress, so I don't like him. We have been enemies ever since. Fuck Antonio. Should I talk about villagers that I have beef with? I think I should. Maybe I should do one of those villager writing videos. 
Oh yes, I definitely will. I would love to roast the hell out of some certain villagers. But yeah, okay, so right now I'll talk about the main ones that I have beef with. First up, Renee the Rhino. Renee is absolutely without a doubt banned from all of my future islands simply because, okay, okay, I had her in New Leaf. And in New Leaf, I had my house, and behind my house, I had a fairy garden. And if you've never played New Leaf, um, villagers just move in. When a villager moves out, another one, like their house is gone, and then another villager moves in. They can move in anywhere. They can move in on top of trees, on top of flowers, on top of items, I believe. The only way to get a villager house where you want it was to place down custom designs. I think you can guess where this is going. Yes, Renee moved in on top of my fairy garden and I haven't forgiven her since. If that incident never happened, I would love her, like, ironically, but no, I hate her. I do not want to see her face ever again. And then of course, Antonio for reasons that I just explained. And Canberra, simply because she just just look at her she is kind of scary and i don't understand why why did they do her like this that is enough for now i will save my remaining saltiness for another video <laughs> Okay, so I found a good spot for Nook's Cranny, and by the way, since my town's theme is rural, I am not going to be upgrading my Nooks. I am not going to buy anything from them, I'm not going to sell anything to them, I'm not going to let my friends buy anything from them. I am keeping it as the first little shack. It's really cute and so nostalgic. Also, if you didn't know, you don't need to upgrade your Nooks to progress in the game. I'm not sure if you need it for a 5 star rating. I personally don't care for this island, but yeah, there are no consequences. I mean, except for not being able to buy and sell stuff, but I have ways of getting bells. I don't know, I think my point here is that it doesn't matter if you upgrade your nooks or not, if you want to keep it at that first stage, it doesn't like impede on the game's progression at all. If you have an alternative way of getting bells, of course. If I need items, I can just buy them from the catalog, and I can also order stuff from Happy Home Paradise. Now that most of the terraforming is done, I can finally move on to the decorating. Beside Nooks here, I'm making a little parking lot. I'm placing down a delivery truck, an ABD machine, and some shopping baskets. I really wanted to put the shopping baskets right in front of Nook's Cranny, and I really should have given myself an extra space, um, because I couldn't place anything in that one space in front of Nook's Cranny. I didn't think about it because I'm so used to being able to place things in front of the regular Nook's Cranny, the upgraded version, but yeah, it looked weird, so I put it in the parking lot instead. Also, along with not being able to place um, items in front of Nook's Cranny, I couldn't place design paths, so you just gotta walk on the grass to to get to nooks. Uh, I was gonna put tile down and it would have looked nice, but I, I couldn't. Oh well, it's fine, whatever. Inside the parking lot, I'm making a little path that will lead to an incline going up to the second level. I'm not exactly sure what I want to put up here yet, there's not a lot of space, maybe some villager houses, but yeah!
and we're done! I time hopped to the next day so I can show you how it looks in the daytime. Here's Henry's house. Did you see the little frog I put on the water? I love it so much. And here's Nooks and the parking lot. I think it turned out really cute. I'm happy with it, yay! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!